Reverencia Crucis, Apo Benedictas, Nobis Salvo Sit Vita, Nomine Patris, Pili Spiritu Sancti Amen. Repliato rons meus laudi tua, ut possim cantare. Gaudebunt labia mea, deum cantabero tibi, alleluia. In nomini Patris, sit pilit Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Dominus pobiscum, et cum Spiritu tuo, Pratres, Agnis camus peccata nostra, ut aptissimus et sacra misteria celebranda. Confitio Dei Onipotenti, id bobis fratres, quia peccavi nimis quigitatione verbo opere et omissione, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, Idio precorbiato Maria semper virginem, omnis angelos et sanctos, et vos fratres, orare pro me et Dominum Deum nostrum. Miseriatum nostri onipotens Deus, et demisis picatis nostris, perducat nos et vitam eternam. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Oremus. Merciful God, hear the prayers of your people. May we who have received your gifts of faith share forever in the new life of Christ. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium tuum, in unitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexio Actum Apostolorum El mismo día de la muerte de Esteban, se desató una violenta persecución contra la iglesia de Jerusalén, y todos, menos los apóstoles, se dispersaron por Judea y por Samaria. Unos hombres piadosos sepultaron a Esteban e hicieron gran duelo por él. Entretanto, Saulo hacía estragos en la iglesia. Entraba en las casas para llevarse a hombres y mujeres y meterlos en la cárcel. Los que se habían dispersado, al pasar de un lugar a otro, iban difundiendo el Evangelio. Felipe bajó a la ciudad de Samaria y predicaba ahí a Cristo. La multitud escuchaba con atención lo que decía Felipe, porque habían oído hablar de los milagros que hacía y los estaban viendo. De muchos poseídos salían los espíritus inmundos, lanzando gritos, y muchos paralíticos y lisiados quedaban curados. Esto despertó gran alegría en aquella ciudad. Verbum Domini Deo gracias. Jubilate Deo Omnis Terra Que aclame al Señor toda la tierra Celebremos su gloria y su poder. Cantemos un himno de alabanza. Digamos al Señor, tu obra es admirable. Jubilate Deo, 
omnis terra. Que se postre ante ti la tierra entera y celebre con cánticos tu nombre. Admiremos las obras del Señor, los prodigios que ha hecho por los hombres. Jubilate Deo Omnis Terra. Él transformó el mar rojo en tierra firme, y los oso cruzar el Jordán a pie enjuto. Llenémonos por eso de gozo y gratitud. El Señor es eterno y poderoso. Jubilate Deo Omnis Terra. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Omnis qui credit in filium abet vitam eternum. Et resuscitabo ego eam in novissimo die dicit dominus. Aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya. Dominus pubiscum et cum spiritu tuo. Sequentia sancti evangelii secundum Ioannem. Gloria tibi Domine. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that a father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. Verbum Domini. Laus Tibi Christi. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus Tecum. Benedicta tum lieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, Nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Maria Auxilium Christianorum, ora pro nobis. In nomine Patris et Pili Spiritus Sancti. Amen. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it, and so the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. Acts chapter 8, verse 7. This is the will of my Father, that all who see the Son may have eternal life. John chapter 6, verse 36. One of the gifts of the Holy Spirit to the apostles and the disciples is not only to empower them with intellectual and volitional gifts, but above all, to witness fearlessly to the risen Lord. This they will do in all parts of the world, even to the point of martyrdom. But what happens if these gifts are kept hidden 
and not used out of fear, and maybe out of slot. For a time immediately after Jesus' resurrection, the apostles were struck with complete immobility, as if rendered numb to all that had happened. What they were expected to do took them 50 days before they could fully respond. And this was to witness to the risen Lord. Jesus warns us in the parable of the talents in Matthew 25, verses 24 to 30, that should we become like the servant who received that one talent and hid it for fear of losing it, instead of investing it to gain interest, the dire consequences are threefold. First, that one talent would be confiscated by God because of our indolence. Listen to the stern words written in Matthew 25, verse 26 to 28. It reads, and I quote, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I have not scattered seed. You ought to have deposited my money with the bankers. And at my coming, I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him. Two, the one talent was given to someone else who is more prompt and creative, someone who can deliver God's wishes on time. Matthew 25, 28 continues, and again I quote, Take the talent from him and give it to the one who has ten talents. Three, the third consequence is the worst, because we have ignored and failed to do God's command, which is the sin of omission, and I've missed the opportunity given us to save souls. We will be punished with eternal damnation in hell. Matthew 25, 29 says it strongly, and I quote, cast that unprofitable servant into the outer darkness of hell, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jesus was serious when he gave his spiritual gifts to his followers during his resurrection and the Pentecost. He wanted his apostles and disciples to use these gifts to save souls. And this is exactly what Jesus also wants us to do today. That is why three times Jesus offered Peter and his apostles a renewal of their friendship their agape, their fellow love with him. At the Sea of Tiberias during their breakfast, he asked Peter and his apostles, who were still tentative in their commitment, do you love me? His next words challenged them to prove this love by feeding his lambs. Proof of the seriousness of Jesus' words was the three times that he repeated himself to the apostles. This is the same command that he tells us now. The reading in the Mass today reminds us of the supernatural gifts of love and promise of eternal life from the resurrection of Christ. This love impels the disciples of Christ to be bold and courageous in witnessing to the risen Christ. They should be fearless in evangelizing souls like the deacon St. Philip, even to the point of shedding blood for Christ. Acts chapter 8 verse 5 says, and I quote, Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word in all parts of the world. When religious persecution broke out, in Jerusalem, led by Saul, who planned to destroy and annihilate all Christians. All the disciples except the apostles left Jerusalem and were scattered in all parts of the world. 
Philip found himself in Samaria, preaching there the gospel powerfully, witnessing to the risen Lord by his healing, casting out Satan in the possess, converting pagans, and even raising the dead to life. This was recorded in Acts chapter 8, verse 7, and I quote, With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. The second reading is of particular importance because it speaks of the central message of the good news, that is, for all of us to witness and to show our love for the risen Christ. The main message of the good news is no less than Jesus Christ himself, the bread of life, the Eucharist, that satisfies every hunger and thirst of the heart, the only that only Jesus alone could give us supernatural life for eternity in heaven, God's kingdom. The second reading is important because we cannot witness to someone whom we do not know. But who is this bread of life? First of all, what is this bread? What is this life? The bread here is a staple food for life. It is important because we cannot live very long without food. What then is this life? Jesus does not mean only physical existence. The life Jesus offers is connected with God, the author of life. This life that Jesus is offering us is the real life. It is the loving relationship with the living God, the same life given to the apostles, now the saints, the mystics, the contemplatives, the prophets, and the founders. In particular, it is the supernatural life wherein our only portion and lot is God. It is a life of total trust or consecration to Jesus through Mary, of obedience to God's divine will, for He alone knows the way to heaven, as well as the supernatural language of love, and above all, of peace and perfect joy. It is the full satisfaction of the hunger and thirst of our heart, a craving only God could give in full measure. The second reading teaches us three things. First, the supernatural food is the bread of life. Second, spiritual friendship with God is beyond any temporal and earthly relationship with any human being. Third, the unfading hope of sharing the glory of the resurrection is a supernatural life in love that knows no fear, that is stronger than death and is everlasting. It was the passion and death of Jesus that God utilized to ransom us from the curse of sin, death, hell, and Satan. And it was in the resurrection of Jesus that He promised the supernatural life of love to those who would share His cross. In Romans 8, 17, we read, If we share the cross of Christ, we shall also share in the glory of of His resurrection. An outstanding example of this is St. Polycarp, who was a great disciple of St. John, the so-called last apostle who died in 92 AD. At the death of this apostle, controversies arose 
that there was no one credible enough to authentically interpret the gospel of Christ. But St. John had this already in mind. That is why he personally handpicked St. Polycarp to do the task, that is, to maintain the purity of the gospel of Christ while being transmitted from one generation to the next. This task was then transferred later on to the popes with the collates of bishops. St. Polycarp taught and guarded the purity of the good news by condemning the offensive novelties promoted by heretical teachers during the time of transition. Jesus had warned his apostles about this. When he told them that as soon as he was gone, the devil would continuously attack the apostles and their disciples after them. And Jesus promised two things so that the apostles would not be hopeless and helpless. He would leave the Blessed Mother with them. And He Himself would always be with them until the end of times in all the tabernacles throughout the world. From St. John the Apostle in 92 AD to Pope Orban, the Pope of the Eucharist in the 13th century, this teaching was strongly upheld St. Polycarp's convincing defense of the gospel, coupled with his magnetic holiness, converted thousands of heretics, fallen Catholics, and pagans in general. He also could heal, raise the dead to life, make the blind see, and cast out demons from the possessed. Because of the many conversions to Christianity, because of St. Polycarp's preaching, the Emperor Aurelius Antoninus considered him a danger to the Roman Empire. He had the saint arrested and forced to offer incense to the Roman Emperor, to which St. Polycarp fearlessly refused. This angered the Emperor, who ordered that the saint be tortured and flogged like Jesus until he could hardly walk. St. Polycarp, however, would not stop in evangelizing even those who were trying to execute him. He took every occasion to tell the Roman soldiers and his spectators that he was honored to suffer and die for the risen Christ who died for the love of all men. In the end, the saint's friendly gesture to the Roman soldiers converted all his executioners. Finding him still alive, the Emperor Aurelius ordered him next to be bound and strangled to death. But the saint would not stop preaching. He cried to his torturers that every pain he suffered was a consolation he could give to Christ. He was grateful and that he forgave them, for they knew not what they were doing. This time the emperor gave another order, burn St. Polycarp at the stake. But the fire would not consume the saint. It raged, but surprisingly, it did not touch St. Polycarp. To this, St. Polycarp shouted to both the spectators and torturers, How can then I blaspheme my King and Savior? You threaten me with a fire that burns for a season, but for a little while is quenched. But you are ignorant of the fire of everlasting punishment that is prepared for the wicked. A Roman soldier was insulted by St. Polycarp's words, came up to him and stabbed him right at the heart. But the saint was unperturbed. Peacefully and without any show of fear, St. Polycarp managed to still testify. 
So while bleeding to death with boldness and joy, he said, I bless you, God the Father, of judging me worthy of this hour, so that in the company of martyrs, I may share the cup of Christ. When St. Polycarp finally died, many were converted to Christianity from among the pagans who witnessed his torture. The most numerous took place at the Colosseum before a hundred thousand spectators when they saw the fire that would not consume St. Polycarp. And one of them was St. Ignatius of Antioch. We are challenged these days during our coronavirus lockdown to do two things, to express our personal love to the risen Christ. First, find time every day to adore Jesus, at least for an hour, to develop a personal relationship with Christ. Second, witness to the risen Christ by catechizing your family especially your children about the faith. Teach them the eight basic elements of the Catholic faith so that they have a solid foundation to stand on when crisis hits again. Third, use your God-given talents creatively now to reach out to others by doing corporal and spiritual acts of mercy. Encourage all those whom you can reach to live the care lifestyle that I have mentioned repeatedly in my homilies. But do this promptly, lest you run out of time and lose this golden opportunity God has given you. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Benedictus es Domine Deus in inversa gratula agitate cepimus panem, quem tibi operimus fructum teri operis manum hominum ex conobis piet panis vitae. Perius sapit binem steum sciamo de benedictatis consortis, comunitatis nossi piri dignatis es particeps. Benedictus es Domine Deus in inversa gratul agitate cepimus minum. Quo tibi operimus fructum vitis operis manum hominum, ex conobis piet potus espiritaris.
In spirito umiltà di tinanimo contrito se si piamo te ci pia sacrificio nostro. In cospetto oggi e plaici ti vi domini Deus. Lava mi domini mi ricattate me a mondo mi peccato me. Orati pratis at me mit besum sacrificium e citabili fiat apo deim patrim omnipotentem. Susipiat dominus sacrificium de manibus tuis, ad laudum in gloriam nomini sui, ad utilitatim goci nostrum, titisque ecclesia sui sancte. Lord, restore us by these Easter mysteries. May the continuing works of our Redeemer bring us eternal joy. Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Dominus Pobiscum et cum Spiritu Tuo. Sursum Coda abemos et Dominum. Gracias agamos Dominum Dei Nostro. Dignum et Justum es. Bere dignum et justum et secum et salutare te quidem domini omni tempori compiteri, serit in hoc putissim in gloriosus predicare, con pasca nostrum immolatus es Christus, qui sepo nobis opere non desenit, nosce apo te perenne ad vocazione dependit, et che immolatus eam non moritur, e semper vivit hoc Jesus, Co propter propusis pascalibus gaudiis, tota si nobi terrarum mundus exultat. Serit superna virtutis ad cangelici potestatis, in un gloriti concinon sine fine dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Dei Sabaot, plenus in celi terre gloria tua. Hosana in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. Tegito clementissimi Pater, per Iesum Christum primum tuum Dominum nostrum supplice su gama sapetimus. O ti accepta veis et benedica sic dona ec munora ec sancta sacrificia elevata. In primis que tibi operimus preclesia tua sancta catolica, Quam patsi picari co sudire donare tregeri dineris, tot orbitera armona cum pamula tu, Papa nostro Francesco, antistiti nostro, Roberto e Stepano, palma de los santos, tobias pomadico, et anibus ortodoxi, sacri catolici, topostolici, pidei cultoribus. Memento Domine, pomalorum, pomalorum, pitoarum, James Philip Cooper. Kathleen Doran. Patrick Nelly Children Healing Deliverance. Mary Safe travel to Mexico, Russia, Russia. Joseph, Jesus, Lord. Hello, Cancer. Virginia, will you have intentions?
Etomium circunstantium corum tibi fides cognates et nota de bocio. Procibus tibi operimus. Belque tibi operant ex sacrificium lades processo viscionibus pro redemptione numarum suarum. Prospe salutis et inclumitatis sui tibi cura don bota sua eterna deu vivo et bello. Comunicantes et mimoiam venerantes in primis gloriosa semper virgenes Mariae. Genetrices Dei Domini Nossi Esu Christi. Seret Beati Iosip Iusnem Virgin Sponsi. Beatorum Postolorum Martyrum Tuorum. Petit Pali Andrei. Iacobi Ioannis Domi Iacobi Filipe Bartolome Matei. Simoni Situdei. Lini Cleti Clementi Sixti Corneli Cipriani. Lorenzi Crisogri Ioannis et Pali Cosmi Damiani. Et omnium sanctorum tuorum quorum meritis picibusque concedas, ut in animus protectionis timoniamur auxilio. Angigitur oblationem servitutis non si serit cunti familia ti quesimus domine. Placatus acipias dies que nossas in tuo pace disponas. Ad que bitena damnazioni nos servit in lectorum tuorum iubias grege numerari. Como oblationem today is in onibus quesimus. Benedictam ad scriptam ratam racionabili mecetabilin que pagere dineris. Nobis corpus sanguis spiat directissimi. Felitui Domini nosi esse Christi. Que pridie cam patareto recepit panem in sanctas ad venerabilis manas suas. Elibatis oculis in celum. Ad te Deum patrem su onipotentem. Tibi gracias agens benedixit, pregit, edit que discipulis suis dicens. Ac cipite et manducate ex hoc omnes, hoc es enim corpus meum, quod probobis tradetur. Similar mode, poscam cenatumis, acipiens et un preclarum calicem, in sanctus ad venerabilis manus suas, item tibi gracias agens, benedixit didicui discipulis suis dicens. Ac cipite et bibite ex eo omnes, ic es enim calic sanguinis mei, nobit eterni testamenti, qui probobis et promultis epondetur, en remesionem peccatorum. Hoc facete in meam commemorationem.
Mysterium Fidei, Motem Tuum Annunciamus Domine Tuum Resurrectionin Compitemur, Donic Venias. Undet memoris Domini nos servit tui, serit plebs tuus sancta iusdem Christi fili tui Domini nostri. Tambiati passiones nec non ita bimpres resurrectionis, serit in celos glorios ascensionis. Offerimus preclare me stati tui di tuis donis ac datis. Oscem puram oscem sanctam oscem immaculatam, panem sanctam vite eternet calicem salutis perpetue. Supra que propicec sereno bulto respicere dineris, accepta averi sicuti accepta averi dignatus es. Munera puriti iusti avalit sacrificium pecaca nostri apre. Catio te li sumo se cedus tuus Melchisedec Santo, sacrificia immaculata mostia. Supplices te rogamus omnipotens teus, iuve ec per 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 mano sante angeli. In sublime il tale tuum in conspecto di bene maestatis tu, cot corit exaltaris per dissipazione. Sacrosantum pelitui corpus sanguinim sum serimus. Omni benedictioni celesti et gracia repliamur. Per Christum Dominum nostrum. Memento etiam Domine Pomelorum Pomelorum Gituarum. Con Domine di Pogna, Michele Antona. Erasmo Castagneda, Walper Holmes, Doris Bissotasio. Letizia Pobletti, Nancy, Mr. and Mrs. Weimar. Jeremiah Dorna Peter, Carlos Magliari, Mr. Nathan Martin G., Vincent Giuliano Vilpreno Angelis, Gian Regina Gaboya, Nicholas Joseph Sandra. Qui non spicisero in consigno fidei domant in sumo pacis, Ipsis Domini Tonibus in Christo qui scientibus locum repigeri lucis et pacis in dolgeste precamor. Nobis coque peccatoribus famulis tuis de multitudine miserationum tuorum esperante vos parte malicum, suscitatem donare dineris. Un tuis sanctis apostolis martiribus, cum Ioani Stefano Mattia Barnaba, Ignacio Alexandro, Marcellino Petro, Felicitate Perpetua, Agatha Lucia, Agneti Sicilia Anastasia, et onibus sanctis tuis in tocorum nos consortium, non estimato meritis et venie, quesimus largitur admite per Christum Dominum nostrum. Per quem comia Domine semper bona creas, sanctificas bibipicas benedices et prestas nobis. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, esti videi Patri Onnipotenti, in unitati Spiritu Sancti omnes honor et gloria. Per omnia secula seculorum, amen. Oremus. Precepti salutaribus moniti et divina institutione formati, audemus dicere, Pater noster, qui es in cieli, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, piat voluntas tua, sicur in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimita nobis debita nostra, sicur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et de nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen.
Libera nos quesimus Domine abonibus malis, da propicius pacem in gegus nossis. Topi misericordia tui aiuti, da piccata simus semper libri, e raboni per torbacione sicuri. Expectantes beatam spemet ad bentum salvatoris nossi, Iesu Christi, che a tu misregnum et potestas e gloria in secula. Domini Iesu Christi, che existi apostolis tuis, pacem relinco bovis, pacem meenda bovis, ne respice spicata nossa, sed fidem eclesia tue, e anche secondo un volontatem tuam, pacificare e donare dinieris, Que vivis et regnes in secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini, sit semper bobiscum, et comi spiritu tuo. Et comi isciu copri sanguinis Domini nostri, Iesu Christi, via da cipiente bus nobis in vita eterna. Agnes Dei che tolli spiccato mondi, miserere nobis. Agnes Dei che tolli spiccato mondi, miserere nobis. Agnes Dei che tolli spiccato mondi, dona nobis pacem. Domine Iesu Christi, pili Dei vivi, che expolontati Padre, scoperanti Spirito Santo. Per morte in tua mondo in vivi, casti. Libera me per oxa cusando un copo, sangue in tua mamone, bus in equitati bus me. Ane persis malis et bak mi tui semper in errere mandatis, di non com separare per mitas. Ai naip me salvara vi masa, dis naip spin au padrano. Pleis de minianza me, de mi cerix o mon crisis, in mi obtain by this presentation, de regular ok. De remos holy trinity, in mi do la masa, celebrate it on the way for the past two thousand and twenty years separation for our sins, deliverance of the holy soul. Perseverance of the just, unity of mind and heart of all our brothers and sisters in our city. He am happy when the new loves that increase in all this degradation. The Lord of the Holy Spirit, the Lord of the Holy Spirit, the Lord of the Holy Spirit, radical conversion, full satisfaction, claiming the liberance of all those who participate in the centenary celebration of our Lady of Potomac.
Hetje anjes de etje ketolit pikata mundi, biati kwe tjenum anje bukati sunt. Domini non som dinius sut intre sut ecto meum, sut tantum dik verbo it sanabit or anima mea. Domini non som dinius sut intre sut ecto meum, sut tantum dik verbo it sanabit or anima mea. Domini non som dinius sut intre sut ecto meum, sut tantum dik verbo it sanabit or anima mea. Sangis Christi ku siya ten bita mi ten. Surak si Dominus et ilux et nobis, quos redem it sanguine suo, alleluia. Para todos aquellos que no pueden recibir a Jesús en el Santísimo Sacramento, ofrecemos la siguiente oración. Oh Jesús, me dirijo hacia ti en el tabernáculo santo, donde vives escondido por amor a mí. Te amo, mi Dios. No puedo recibirte en la Sagrada Comunión. Ven, sin embargo, y visítame con tu gracia. Ven espiritualmente a mi corazón. Purifícalo, santifícalo. Hazlo parecido al tuyo. Señor, no soy digno de que entres en mi casa, pero una palabra tuya bastará para sanar mi alma. Amén. Les pedimos a todos que recen con nosotros esta oración de protección para todos los afectados por el virus corona en todo el mundo. Jesucristo, el Rey de gloria, ha venido en paz. Dios se hizo hombre, y la palabra se hizo carne. Cristo nació de una virgen. Cristo sufrió. Cristo fue crucificado. Cristo murió. Cristo resucitó de entre los muertos. Cristo ascendió al cielo. Cristo vence. Cristo reina. Cristo ordena. Que Cristo nos proteja de todos los ataques diabólicos, guerras, calamidades, especialmente de plagas, enfermedades que conducen a la muerte intempestiva. Cristo pasó en el medio de ellos en paz, y la palabra se hizo carne. Cristo está con nosotros junto con María. Huyan espíritus enemigos, porque el león de la tribu de Judá el descendiente de David ha triunfado. Santo Dios, Santo Fuerte, Santo Inmortal, ten piedad de nosotros. Oremos. Lord, may the celebration of our redemption help us in this life and lead us to eternal happiness. Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Dominus pobiscum et cum spiritu tuo, benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Ite misa es. Deo gratias.
Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. San Miguel Arcángel, defiéndenos en la batalla. Sé nuestro amparo contra las perversidades y acechanzas del demonio. Reprima de Dios, pedimos suplicantes. Y tú, príncipe de la milicia celestial, arroja al infierno con el divino poder a Satanás y a todos los otros espíritus malignos que andan dispersos por el mundo, buscando la perdición de las almas. Amén. Amén. 